Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and I love tech nostalgia. As a matter of fact, I still have a fully operational Creative Vado HD. I used this video camera to record a lot of my first HD videos in this YouTube channel. Back in the day, everybody wanted to use a flip camera, but unfortunately, the flip cameras didn't have a very wide angle. The Creative Vado HD did, or does. I liked using it for a lot of reasons. It was very, very simple, and everything that you needed came included in this device. To charge or transfer video, you simply pulled out this USB adapter and connected it to a computer. To turn it on, you simply pressed this button on the side. Did you hear that? That was the startup sound, and when you were ready to record, you pressed this button right here. Oh, it's still on, it's just that the screen went black to save battery life. That was kind of important even back then. I hope you're smiling, because I'm recording you right now in full 720p. That red light's the recording indicator, and I used to mount this to the tripod, set it over here, press the record button, walk around, sit down in this chair, and when I was finished talking about the thing I wanted to talk about, I'd get up from the chair and walk back around to press the record button to stop the recording because I've never been a production geek. I hate editing video. When required, I could shoot a video in one take. Obviously, this is taking more than... When called upon, I can shoot a video in one take, especially if I know what I want to say and I'm not going by any script. Kind of like now. Just in case you thought I had the power of teleportation, no, keep in mind those are jump cuts, because I'm not the person editing this video, thank goodness. As a matter of fact, I'm streaming behind the scenes live to all my super gnomies. You're all my gnomies, that's just one of the bonuses that you get when you pledge at $2 a month. To support our various endeavors, like me talking about old technology, I loved the built-in speaker on the Vado HD as well as the headphone jack. I didn't use the HDMI port all that often though. I recorded a lot of videos on this thing back in the day with a microphone up front, the screen on the back, capable of holding up to two hours worth of HD video footage. There was nothing better. I may very well be the only person who remembers the Vado or loved it so much. Another reason to love the creative Vado HD? Removable, swappable, rechargeable batteries. Rarely, if ever, did I have any issues using this hardware. If I had any complaint, it's that the output wasn't exactly perfect. I mean, the colors would be a little reddish brownish. Then again, I'm still working on the whole color correction thing in my workshop. Haven't quite got that nailed down yet. Portable, lightweight, and powerful. It was everything I wanted in a video camera back in the day. Let me go ahead and record some sample footage, just for comparison's sake. I'm going to spin around the room and you're going to get a better idea as to what it looked like in case you're not interested in looking at my very old videos. They made gadgets like this for a long time until smartphone video took over. One of the reasons I never really got into reviewing hardware or gadgets in general is because I would tend to spend my money or attention on things that I would actually want or use, like the Creative Vado HD. Otherwise, a whole bunch of useless stuff would just keep piling up. I was able to record so many videos back in the day because it was easy for me to do. These days, I'm doing a better job at keeping production values in mind, like remembering to move my computer screen such that the light isn't reflecting in it as I'm recording the video. I've always done my best, and I promise to always do my best for you. But at this point, I'm going to leave everybody to their own devices.